What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. I have some more news about Labor Guide, VIP Labor Guide. So we were able to adjust your, your existing database to be used as your Labor Guide, which is really, really cool. Basically, if I, let's say I, I did Alternator on this Jeep Grand Cherokee, if I type in Alternator and then I'm gonna type in and look what happened right here. So it's gonna give you the Labor Guide automatically. It's gonna fill it automatically and um, let me do it this again. So 1.7. Let's do it again. Alternator. Replace. And if you look at the bottom, it's going to tell you where this information is coming from. So we're, we have the vehicle, uh, the year, make, model, and engine size. So that way you can be uh, sure that this fits that. I mean, it should be because it, based on the VIN number, it just for confirmation. But another thing I want to talk about, which is even cooler. So let's say I'm. I always said if you follow the labor guide that comes from Motor Mitchell One on all data, you'll be out of business. If you don't adjust these hours because if they are incorrect, well, that's what I'm saying, you'll be out of business because some of them are way off, the majority are way off. Uh, unless the engine is taken apart in front of you, there's no way uh, under the normal condition that these can be done. So. Obviously, they, their job is to put it on the lower, but that will get you out of business. You got to be really careful when, you, when you're trying to charge a job. I've always said you should be reaching between 60 to 70% on each invoice. And if that's not happening, and then let, let whoever thinks can fix it, fix it for whatever price. So, so let's look at this real quick. What if I said I want to charge 1.9 on this car, right? And in the future, when, when you try to look up labor guide on the alternator, let's go back to alternator and look, it's going to give you the last entry basically, which is 1.9. This is very important when you have someone else trying to run the front desk, uh, whether your wife or anybody or a service writer, it helps them a lot to know what to charge and it's going to be based on you. So the most important to me, the most important labor guide is your shop. Number one, so this is your own way of selling because this is, this is not a joke, man. This is a business. There's bills need to be paid and there's percentage and you gotta be able to survive and make money. We're not here just to survive. We heard to make money too. So make sure uh, that again, I'm saying it again, the most important labor guide is your own shop labor guide. However, you uh, we understand that you do need a, a guidance in a way that we you don't know. Trust me, if you don't know what to how much you need to charge on certain stuff, you're gonna be in trouble because you should know. I used to own my, I used to use all my labor, my own labor guide because I know I measured it how long it took me. If it took me if it says 0.5 and it took me two hours. Do you think I'm going to charge the customer 0.5? It cannot be done. So I'm telling you, the best labor guide is your own labor guide. And VIP is giving you that option to use your own labor guide. Eventually, we're going to share all this information and you will, will get you to vote. But we're going to have already, as of today, you have two ways of labor guide. Uh, number one is your own labor guide as you enter it. And the number two is based on average vehicle. What I mean by that, let's look... Um, window regulator so window regulator and if you look we already start you know organizing everything window regulator front left because there's four window regulators front left front right rear left rear right so let's do this and okay so, oh sorry I didn't select it window regulator let's clear it remember oh yeah another thing I want to talk about when you want to clear just double click right here anywhere right here and clear it for you so let's say window regulator and it's going to tell you based on average vehicle is 1.2 so that we we can have our own labor guide based on average vehicle but that obviously that doesn't fit between clutches and water pump and major jobs that's not going to work because every vehicle is different but for small stuff window regulator yeah it fits because it's the same basically it's the same thing it's going to be a little bit more and a little bit less and it's on you to make that difference always protect yourself Always look at the percentage up top right here in the corner. That's what percentage I'm talking about. Make sure you're close to 70% or 70%. Your average at the end of the month must be 70% or 68 to 70%. If your average at the end of the month is not 68 to 
you're losing money and you're losing tons of money. That's right. I mean, even if you're selling, you could tell me, Mark, well, I sell $1 million a year. Well, you're losing tons of money. Your, your average should be 68 to 70%. I'm talking about parts and labor. I'm not talking about just labor or just parts. Your average should be close to 60 to 70 percent. I always talk about that. Go to your daily report, uh, daily report, switch it to monthly, and go back in time and look at the percentage right there. The profit should be 70 percent, 60 to 70 percent. 60 if each 0.1 percent is thousands of dollars. It depends on your sale. Make sure you make it 70 percent. Other than that. That's it for today. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying Repairlink. One more thing. Let's just look at Repairlink real quick. Beautiful Repairlink, man. Selecting the car automatically. The power of the dealerships finally in your hand. Uh, let's go to coolant. Let's go to water pump. There we go. I can see the water pump, the gasket. I can get the bolts. <laughs> That's pretty cool, man. Get the sensor. Wow. That's number two. Gasket. I also, they, they, it doesn't look like they have the water pump in stock. Regardless, just click on add, add, and click on transfer. And just like that. Anyway, I appreciate you guys. Until next time, thanks for watching.